At Christiana Care, we have the Advanced Center for Joint Replacement. Um, all of our surgeons are experienced in whatever approach that they might, may decide to use. Uh, the most important thing I tell my patients is I may choose one approach. Uh, another surgeon at the Advanced Center for Joint Replacement may use another approach. The most common approaches to the hip are three. Um, to keeping it simple, there is the anterior approach from the front, the lateral approach from the side, and the posterior approach from the back. The um, anterior approach does not take down any muscles like the lateral or the posterior approach. Therefore, also theoretically, there's less muscle injury and less muscles that have to truly heal after the surgery, so potentially there's a faster recovery. The second most common approach is a lateral approach, usually done through an incision on the side of the hip. Um, this, once again, is the second most common approach. Um, with this approach, we do release some of the muscles along the greater trochanter. These muscles are called the abductors, and they are considered the most important muscles around the hip joint. Um, they really help stabilize the hip joint and help us balance our pelvis, therefore potentially help us walk straight without a limp. They are repaired at the end. Um, however, once we release them, the hip is then dislocated anteriorly out the front. Once again, provides that excellent exposure, provides excellent placement of the prosthesis, and therefore the potential for many, many years of good function of the joint replacement. The posterior approach can be, is done through a straight or curved incision along the back side of the hip. The hip joint is then dislocated posteriorly or through the back of the hip. The components can then be placed with excellent visualization. Uh, the most important thing I tell my patients is I may choose one approach. Uh, another surgeon at the Advanced Center for Joint Replacement may use another approach. Um, the most important thing is that all of our surgeons are experienced and if the surgeon is experienced and the patient follows the proper protocols postoperatively, the results, regardless of the approach, the studies show have excellent results with hip replacements.